Good morning, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, September 21st. We're coming online this morning to give you information about a new system where we've started advisories on this morning. We've issued tropical storm warnings for much of the coast of North Carolina, portions of the coast of Virginia, the lower Chesapeake Bay, and storm surge watches as well. What you see here on the satellite imagery is a developing area of low pressure off the southeast United States coast. Doesn't look like your typical tropical depression or tropical storm yet. It's sort of a hybrid type system, but it's going to bring widespread hazards in terms of uh, winds, uh, coastal flooding and storm surge and heavy rainfall to much of North Carolina, eastern North Carolina on up into the mid-Atlantic states uh, through uh, starting Friday through the weekend. And so we're going to see sort of a, an evolution of this system with uh, widespread impacts, especially to the north of the center, and then the potential for a, a developing sort of inner core that might look more like a tropical storm by the time we get to Friday night and Saturday as the system approaches the coast of North Carolina. So here's what the forecast looks like. We're expecting the system to move uh, generally sort of northward over the next day or so as it organizes and then move northward to north northwestward across eastern North Carolina, uh, reaching the coast early Saturday and then moving up into the Chesapeake Bay region late Saturday and then turning northeastward as it weakens and loses its tropical characteristics again as we go from Sunday into Monday. But you can see we have tropical storm warnings in effect all the way from Cape Fear, North Carolina, up to just south of Fenwick Island, Delaware. So that includes the Pamlico and Albemarle Sound the lower Chesapeake Bay, Hampton Roads, the eastern shore of Virginia, Maryland, places like Ocean City. Uh, we are expecting widespread wind impacts, uh, again, beginning well in advance of the center. Those winds will begin along the coast of North Carolina as we get into during the day tomorrow and spread northward through the warning area as we go from late Friday into Saturday. We are, do have the potential for this system to strengthen. We could, are forecasting uh, maximum winds of up to 55 to 60 miles per hour near the center as it approaches the coast of North Carolina. So these areas, uh, you know, Pamlico, Albemarle Sound, portions of the Outer Banks up into the Hampton Roads could get some significant wind impacts uh, beginning Friday and continuing into Saturday. Uh, and here's just a look at the tropical storm watches and warnings uh, that do extend inland uh, onto the western portions of Pamlico and Albemarle Sound up through the Hampton Roads area on the west side of Chesapeake Bay and also in the eastern shore of Virginia and Maryland. Now we also have potential significant storm surge potential with this system. We have a storm surge watch that's in effect from Surf City, North Carolina, all the way up to Chincoteague, Virginia, and for the Chesapeake Bay south of Smith Point, including uh, portions of the James River, Hampton Roads. This also includes the uh, sound side of the Outer Banks, uh, Pamlico and Albemarle Sounds, and up places like the Noose and Pamlico Rivers. And anywhere in this area you see in yellow, we could see two to four feet of inundation above ground level. Uh, we're gonna have substantial winds on the north side of the system, piling water up, especially into these rivers, sounds, and bays, uh, uh, and uh, over the next uh, 48 hours or so. And that does uh, create the potential for life-threatening inundation from storm surge in these areas. So you're going to want to pay attention, especially if you live in a storm surge evacuation zone, uh, anywhere, again, from Surf City up to Chincoteague, Lower Chesapeake Bay, Pamlico and Albemarle Sound areas. Uh, outside of those areas, we could still see one to three feet of inundation in portions of the upper Chesapeake Bay, from uh, the portions of the uh, Maryland Eastern Shore and south of Surf City, down through the Wilmington, North Carolina area, Myrtle Beach, down to South Santee River, South Carolina. On the rainfall front, we're going to be looking at a widespread heavy rainfall event, two to four inches uh, from eastern North Carolina up through coastal portions of Virginia, the eastern shore up to coastal New Jersey. We could see isolated rainfall totals of as much as six inches, especially across uh, portions of eastern North Carolina. That could create some isolated flash flooding problems, especially in these yellow areas on Saturday uh, as we get, excuse me, on Friday as we move from uh, coastal North Carolina, places like Raleigh, Richmond, uh, Norfolk up into Ocean City, Maryland, southern New Jersey. And then as we move into the day Saturday, that risk of some isolated flash flooding will spread northward uh, into the mid-Atlantic states and southern New England. So again, a lot of hazards are going to develop here over the next couple of days with this system. It's sort of two systems in one, this sort of bigger outer wind field with heavy rainfall, coastal flooding, and then the development of an inner core as we expect a tropical storm to form that could bring higher level wind impacts, more significant storm surge, especially across portions of eastern North Carolina, Tidewater, Virginia, Hampton Roads area, lower Chesapeake Bay. So again, the key messages here, potential for life-threatening storm surge, widespread tropical storm force winds, and heavy rainfall uh, all the way from eastern North Carolina up through the eastern mid-Atlantic states all the way up to New Jersey. So stay tuned for more information here at the National Hurricane Center. Go to hurricanes.gov to our website. You can find your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. And we'll be back with more updates as we go through the day and up, out through the weekend on what's now potential tropical cyclone 16 expected to become a tropical storm uh, as it approaches the coast of North Carolina. So I'm Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center.